Rose, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Yes, I know. It's not a Leo. <laughs> but, okay, if I keep changing for each zodiac, then my laundry is piling up. <laughs> so, um, you have your own shirt. It's in the description box. I'll wear it other day. Okay, but today I started with Aries. So, this is the tea with Sal. Your basic tea just becomes the real tea. Okay. So, my catchphrase. So I have a catchphrase for you also. So all are different. So check it out. It's in the description. It's a gift for people who has humor. Okay. So now there's a little bit shade. So that I shaded the iris here with uh, their class act period. Okay. Because you know them. Mm -hmm. Have you ever dated an iris? Then you know. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Let's begin. Okay. Oh my God. Now I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry and now I'm, I'm looking at my monitor. It's eating. Okay, let's begin. Hey. If I'm not here, I'm on Instagram and I'm at the store. Okay, thank you very much for everybody who's patiently waiting for your packages. Thank you. What? Can I reshuffle? Okay, because this is what that. This is what the Cancerian got. This is their second card. Mm -hmm. But if this is your card, I have fun. Frustration, feeling attacked with the five of wands. You feel like, oh, so I'm wrong. Like, you're right, I'm wrong. So, you, you see this, per this is how this is going on right now with you and this person. Um, so you can call me out on my stuff, but when I call you out, you're good. You know, meaning like you're good, you're, you never made a mistake. So it's a blame game. Mm -hmm. So relationship can be tricky because it's either a blame game or a squid game. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> so because it's either we survive this or we end it, you know. Mm. So from blame game to squid game, basically. Let's see. The death. Oh, it looks like a squid game. Mm -hmm. That's the movie, right? That's a Netflix thing. Okay. So, I don't watch that. I watch Serendipity. Bah! <laughs> it's there. I saw it. And it's like, oh, Serendipity. Either that or Blade. <laughs> so, I have my moments. <laughs> so, with the five ones with the death card. So, you feel like, you know what? This is not going to work out. Because you're impossible. Not you. You're telling this person. You're impossible. And if you want to have it your way, this is Scorpio, then, you know, you're dealing with a fixed sign also. Then this is not going to become easy for you and me. Mm. Now, the death card is to change transformation. That's the eighth house. That's a cult. That's a mystic. That's just things that we don't expect to happen. So those can be on the cards here where you didn't expect that you guys are going to separate. You guys were just arguing, but zero to 100. Next thing you know, it's just like, you know what? I'm done with you. Mm. It's difficult because relationships, it, you know, it really is fueled by emotion. So for me, when I coach about relationship, it has to be fueled by money. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm kidding. <laughs> because if there's a lot of money, then we're not separating. No, I'm kidding. You don't do that. Okay. I took a lot here. It has to be fueled, okay? Relationship has to be fueled, listen to me, this is going to be groundbreaking for you, by your spirituality. Mm. Why? Because this is when, when you say, what would Buddha do? What would the Ascendant Masters do? Yeah, because if it's fueled by your spiritual core, our emotions can be egoistic bias, which they can have because they're my way, highway. Or you can have my way, highway. Everybody will have, right? But if you're connecting with someone who's a soulmate, this is your core, then it feels like you need to understand that um, things can go either or because the intention, then it's intense. That's the death card. And then it's not grounded. Mm. Oh, look at that four of ones. Excuse me. This is what frustrates you. 
You guys could be amazing together. Ideal couple. Picture perfect. Mm -hmm. But they have to make it difficult. Mm. And that one for you, it's just like, I cannot. Mm. Five of Pentacles. No more contact ever since. It's just a memory now. They haven't reached out. Really good. Really bad. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles is a card of... Um, not ghosted, but suffering in silence on both ends. The only reason why you're suffering, both of you, is because, of course, both of you are in love also. Right? If we don't love someone, you really would feel any. You won't. You barely feel anything. You may sympathize, but not. As much as you're in pain is as much as you love this person. Hmm? Ten of Cups. Hmm. King of Pentacles, the Strength card. How much more do you have to fight for this strength? How much more? So, how much more? You got a Seven of Wands and the Temperance. How much more? Because I've reached my limit, Seven of Wands. How much more? Because you always ask me to be patient, but you test my patience. See, it's okay for you to ask my patience, but don't test it, darling. A lion will roar. Mm -hmm. And this is when you're saying, it's like, I made up my mind. Seven of Wands, I'm done, so. They walk away after that. Eight of Cups, the moon. This is what they're saying. I need to think of the situation first. So they're claiming that like, I need to think of what is going on inside my head. Eight of Cups with the Moon card. You have the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. There is a desire for them to reach out Ace of Pentacles. But they're holding back on this. This is an eclipse mm -hmm. which is coming now. Two or three days. Where this person who's trying to keep themselves silent okay, and holding back their feelings and emotion might make up their mind. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. We shall see what happens. Make sure to check us out at eatreadlove.me for all your gifts this holiday. And at the same time, visit my store in Los Angeles. I'll see you guys again. Bye.